Hello everyone, Dr. Barrett, Environment Life Center. I uh, want to share with you today um, kind of an ongoing message of, of hope and how to stay healthy. Um, I hate to keep talking about COVID, but it, it doesn't seem to go away. So we're gonna t we need to talk a little bit about that today. Um, you see people starting to wear masks again and uh, all the talk of the um, third, third uh, booster shot. Um, pretty sure it will result in yearly booster shots just because of the nature of mRNA, which, which um, uh, changes regularly. It's single, it's a single strand, so it can change quite easily. So you're going to see that change and, and different boosters go on. This is going to go on for a while. So what it kind of pushes towards and really, um, I don't know, uh, magnifies is the word the need to just stay healthy, which is something we talk about all the time. And if you haven't started by now, um, there doesn't seem to be anybody around it. You're, you're seeing people who are fully vaccinated wearing masks and two masks again because of the, the variants and, and this strain and that strain. You're seeing countries like Israel with the highest vaccination rate ever of any country now experiencing some of the highest hospitalizations and 80% of the hospitalizations are, are are in the vaccinated. Um, you're seeing countries like Vietnam, which took a different approach early on. Vietnam, you know, is, <clears throat> is a kind of quasi-communist rule and they quite authoritarian. And what they did early on was they um, isolated people, quarantined people, millions, two million people in central quarantine districts. Um, they kept people from going around. It was a, a mask law. Um, they didn't actually get the vac, and, and they were able to keep cases to a minimum, really impressively so. But as in all things, the virus is going to make its way around. Eventually, you have to come out from hiding. You can't wrap yourself in bubble wrap the whole time. So they got the vaccine going in July. And then what they saw is now they have a crazy spike in cases. This has been responded to by the medical community as well. Of course, you get a spike in cases after the first vaccine. Nobody's, nobody's immune yet. Um, I don't know. Um, I would say if people came to my office and there was a spike in cases with everybody coming to my office, uh, the world would be turned upside down to shut my office down as of course the cause of a spread of, of cases. But since it's a vaccine doing so, um, we have a whole twisted logic explanation for that. Of course you have a, a spike in cases after vaccine. <clears throat> anyway, the gist of it is the trend is clear. You're seeing no matter what the mitigation efforts outside in, cover yourself up, wrap yourself in bubble wrap, try and get an antigen response out of a vaccine using just the spike protein instead of natural immunity. All of these are marginally effective. I'm not saying they're not effective, but they're marginally effective. They're not going to change the ultimate trajectory of this thing. What will change it is you taking care of your health, um, you cleaning up your diet. We've known all along this vaccine, um, uh, vaccine, the virus really, really uh, preys on inflammatory uh, prone individuals. And that is driven by sugar. We have cases in here of people pretty fit, but like sugar, jelly beans kind of thing, just sugar snacks all the time, every day kind of snacks. And those people struggle, one, one passed away, not a patient of ours, but, but the uh, family member of a patient of ours, very fit. Um, that seems like the predominant theme when you talk about comorbidities, uh, those comorbidities are things that are also inflammation driven. The common thread is inflammation driven disease and this virus likes inflammation um, susceptible individuals. So how do you stop that? Well, really easily, very easily, stop buying sugar, sugared stuff in the market. Don't, don't, you know, just start moving towards ketogenic, more fats, more proteins. Stop with the carbs, that means rice, that means breads, that means bagels, that means pastries, Pop-Tarts, uh, donuts, all of those things. Certainly Coke and Pepsi and those things, certainly all of those are on the list. Change those things around, start moving into healthier foods. It's really very simple. Of course you need sleep, of course you need probiotics, of course you need your nervous system connected up. This is just general immune 101. It has nothing to do with COVID other than 
people who do those things don't struggle with COVID. They, they just don't do that. So I haven't seen that yet. In the year and a half since this has been going on, people who, who do what we teach have not struggled with this at all. No, nobody in here doing what we do has been hospitalized. It doesn't matter their age. Nobody here has struggled more than a, a day or two of feeling like the flu. Um, that's not a blanket statement that says COVID is no big deal. It's a big deal if you don't if you don't take care of yourself. If you're not um, taking care of yourself so you're staying healthy, um, COVID is uh, not your friend. So, so anyway, that's the message for today. Um, to get with the program, you know, start coming to our workshop. Start tuning in here more often. Read what we put out. Start start taking it to heart. Start making the changes. Start doing the things instead of just reading it. And yeah, we know that's good. If you say that's good information, nothing changes. You know what? Uh, change is what is what makes an effect. So anyway, that's what we got for today. It's very easy. It's a message of hope. It's very easy. Um, clean up your diet, get adjusted, go to sleep, make you got, make sure you got probiotics, hang out with healthy people and, and be healthier. So anyway, message for today. God bless. Dr. Barrett.